Let's go. And you will say, oh. Thank God it's Friday, Friday, the last Friday, the month of April 2022. We'll soon be in May. Today is Friday, the 29th day of April 2022. And your lab boy today is here as usual. I go a fishing. That's the topic for today. I am excited that I know of a church a part of which I've been, I've been a pastor there, where this story of going out fishing was turned around, and now it's fishing for men that will join the kingdom. But the real story of I go a fishing will get from the gospel according to St. John in chapter 21, and we'll be reading from the very first verse. And then you'll see the real story, and now what's is being made of the story in Christendom. So, let's go now. After this, Jesus revealed himself again to the disciples by the sea of Tiberias. And he revealed himself in this way. Simon Peter, Thomas called the twin, Nathaniel of Cana in Galilee, the sons of Zebedee, and two others of his disciples were together. Simon Peter said to them, I go a fishing. They said to him, We will go with you. They went out and got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. Just as day was breaking, Jesus stood on the beach, yet the disciples did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, Children, have you any fish? They answered him, No. He said to them, Cast the net on the right side of the boat, and you'll find some. So they cast it, now they were not able to haul it in for the quantity of fish. That disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he put on his clothes, for he was stripped for work, and sprang into the sea. But the other disciples came in the boat, dragging the net full of fish, for they were not far from the land, but about a hundred yards. When they got out on land, they saw a charcoal fire there with fish lying on it and bread. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish that you have just caught. So Simon Peter went aboard and hauled the net ashore, full of large fish, a hundred and fifty-three of them. And although there were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, Come and have breakfast. Now none of the disciples dared ask him, Who are you? They knew it was the Lord. Jesus came and took the bread and gave it to them, and so with the fish. This was now the third time that Jesus was revealed to the disciples after he was raised from the dead. This is the gospel of Christ. Praise to Christ our Lord. I go a fishing for Peter and the rest of the disciples that went with him at that time was for physical fish because the Lord Jesus Christ that had walked with them all along, they thought had gone and was no more with them. Is there a situation you found yourself before too that you just think, oh, I'm just all alone. So I go do that old business that I used to do 
before I came into the kingdom. You need to have a rethink. Because the Lord may just appear to you. The way the Lord appeared to Simon Peter and the other disciples. There are so many uh, things that one can learn from that story. But we are concentrating today on the fact that make sure that you are always ready. Because wherever you are, whatever you are doing, whatever old business you have been part of, and you are thinking of going into that old business all over again, remember that Jesus Christ is everywhere and that he is going to be with you. And do I say perhaps in quotes, catch up with you. And if you let him be with you, he's going to lead you all the way in whatever you do. I'm a politician. And so I carry Jesus into the politics that I'm involved in. I'm not going to be involved in any cheating. I'm not going to be involved in anything that is funny. Because along the line, Jesus is going to come. And like those that went a fishing all alone without the Lord, they caught nothing. So I want to tell you what business are you into and you want to go without the Lord, you'll catch nothing. I'm not cursing you. I'm just telling you, of course, what will happen because that's the trend. That's what had always happened. But if you let the Lord have such a strong relationship with you that you always go with him and he always goes with you, then everything will go well with you. If you build such a relationship with him that even if you stray a little while, he himself will search for you, just like he sought for Peter and the rest of the disciples, you know, and they were able to still benefit from his ministry, his, his ministry of provisions, you know, because like I told you, many things happened in that uh, uh, story. They caught nothing and all of a sudden they caught so many fish and by the time they got to land, they met uh, uh, coal and fire and even some fish there. Who puts the coal and fire in place? Who put the fish there? Because the scriptures didn't tell us there that. But the scriptures also didn't tell us that there was any other person around. Those must be provisions of Jesus. And then he said, all right, bring the fish that you caught too. And let me tell you, don't always follow people who are too impulsive. You need to be deliberate. As fantastic as Peter was, the cornerstone of the church um, of, 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 of men, um, what I mean is that the one upon whom the, the church was first uh, 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 handed over to, because Jesus Christ is actually our cornerstone, but that disciple, Peter, still was rather too impulsive and said, oh, let's go out fishing. And then the others followed him without recognizing that they needed to be with the Lord. Not only that, when he was, when it was made known to him that it was Jesus, the usual impulsive Peter, he just jumped into the water. The same way he walked on the water before and then he began to sink because he could not sustain his faith. What are we saying about this? Recognize that even as you go a fishing in whatever business that you do, you're a civil servant, you're a politician, you're a teacher, you're a lawyer, you're an architect, you're a contractor, you're in the military, go a fishing with the Lord. Let the Lord lead you and tell you where to cast your net so that as you go a fishing, you'll be able to catch something. And it will not be a story of catching nothing like it was happened to Peter and the disciples before the Lord came into their story. I pray that the Lord will never lead you, leave you in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will always lead you so that you will never catch nothing. You will always have something to catch in whatever trade or business or enterprise or occupation because you may even be a student and that is what occupies you. That is your occupation for now. The Lord will be with you in all of your studies. I pray in Jesus' name. Now, if you want the Lord to be with you, you also must accept that Lord as your own Savior. You must be a Christian. You must be part of the army of Christ. That is when he can go a fishing with you, even if you are going to go a fishing amiss. He'll be able to join you and lead you to where you'll be able to catch all the fish that you require. So that means you have to give your life to Christ. If you are ready for that experience, just say this prayer to me. Say, Lord Jesus, I also want to go a fishing with you. I don't want to go a fishing amiss. Therefore, 
I pray that you forgive me of all that had been evil about me in the past and that from today you take me as one of yours that I may also go a fishing with you I pray in Jesus name if you said that prayer welcome to the fold of Christ welcome to that fold of the fishers of men and you must find a Bible believing church very close by if you find an Anglican church fantastic place for you to be and if you happen to be in Oshobo come to the Anglican church of the PSA extension where we can go fishing together with the Lord and for today as you go let's say this prayer together say father help me to keep following and never to quit following you for to whom shall I go if I depart from you Lord teach me to always be with you so that we can go a fishing together by the day I pray in Jesus name so go out today and recognize that if you go a fishing do not go amiss go a fishing with the Lord and it will be well with you God bless you I joy you faithful I call you faithful